Germany's election campaign is boring. That's not necessarily my opinion, but it is the opinion of a lot of commentators watching it. German news media have taken to calling it Germany's most boring election ever. Carnegie Europe had a blog this week called The Misery of Germany's Election Campaign. And I've seen quite a few similar articles. They write that instead of presenting new and bold ideas about integration and digitalization, energy policy and Europe's future, Merkel and the leaders of the other main parties are playing it safe and predictable. And they and others that are making this point are making a really important point. Germany is at a major defining point in its history. It's being faced with a lot of big problems, substantive issues. Take the migrant crisis, probably the one best known. Germany had close to a million migrants arrive in a period of 12 months. Whether you think that's a good idea or not, that's a big challenge. That's something worth talking about. That's something Germany's going to handle carefully. How do you assimilate so many people from a different culture in a short amount of time? German Chancellor Angela Merkel said we can do it. Well, fine, maybe Germany can, but how? And surely that's something that's worth talking about in a German election campaign. In fact, there are even quite a few pro-immigration people within Germany saying we need to talk about this more saying we need to make some changes. We need to change the way we look after migrants, the way we integrate migrants, the way we're treating these migrants. Otherwise, we're just pushing them into the arms of terrorists and criminals. So that's a big issue for Germany. The only political party that's talking about it is the alternative for Deutschland, this kind of fringe party that a lot of Germans don't want to even talk about or vote for. Now, they are doing a lot better than anybody expected, probably because they are one of the only parties willing to talk about this. One poll put them in third, that said that they could be the third largest party in Germany after the election. That, as, as the local put it, would be a lightning bolt to German politics. But the other mainstream parties just aren't mentioning this. What about the future of the Eurozone? Again, this big defining issue for Germany. That, what is Germany's future? Is Germany going to be an independent nation state or is it just going to, is it going to be a state in a federal Europe? Something worth talking about. More than that, its economic survival is at stake. If the Eurozone explodes, well, it would take Germany's economy with it. In the French election a few months ago, the now French president Emmanuel Macron campaigned largely with a big, grand, revolutionary vision for Europe and the Eurozone. He painted a picture of what was basically a Eurozone superstate and talked about some major steps towards that. But in Germany, nothing. Then you've got all of the problems beyond Germany's borders. You've got an increasingly unstable Middle East that's affecting Germany. Again, nothing. Now, the election does look like it's probably in the bag for, for Chancellor Angela Merkel. But Carnegie Europe concludes that such are the choices facing German voters. More of the same seems in the cards. Whoever wins on September 24th, such complacency from the leaders of Europe's largest economy could be Germany's Achilles heel. And they're not the only ones talking like this. Foreign Policy had an article called Angela Merkel is hurting German democracy. They wrote that she skillfully avoids instigating or acknowledging real conflict on substantive topics. They go through some of these same big challenges facing Germany and write that these are difficult topics and all have barely merited mention in Germany's tepid election campaign. And they wrote about how by in avoiding these, Angela Merkel may be doing lasting damage to the Federal Republic. Earlier in the week, we had an article by uh, Joshua Michels on our website titled The Post-Merkel Era is Near. And he notes that this current election may seem boring, but a lot of people are getting ready for kind of the real political jockeying and maneuvering later. Now, how, no matter how boring this election campaign may seem, the trumpet is going to be watching it closely. You can find a lot of informed commentators talking about how Germany right now is going to determine the fate of Europe. So much hangs on what Germany does in the coming months and years. And Bible prophecy also contains strong warnings to watch German politics. It warns of some of the big changes that are coming in German politics, changes that we can already see building right now. Like we've just reviewed, you have articles talking about how democracy in Germany is being damaged, how the political process has an Achilles heel. 
These are important developments, and they're important developments in Bible prophecy, in the plan that God is working out here on earth. And you can read more in much more detail about those prophecies and see them from the Bible. See how all of this is being fulfilled in so many ways already, and see where these changes in German democracy that we can already see in the run-up to the election campaign, where they are ultimately leading. And you can see all that in our free book, A Strong German Leader is Imminent.